What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and in this video we're going to be doing a speed test between the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Now the key difference between these two, apart from the colour, is the fact that this version here has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor and this version here has the Samsung Exynos 9810. Now which one of these versions you get will depend on your region and are you going to be missing out in terms of performance if you have one over the other? Well, let's find out Super Saf style. Kicking off with benchmark scores, the Exynos version does score higher in Geekbench for both for the single and multi-core. But for Antutu, the overall score is higher for the Snapdragon version. Right, now let's get to the app test. So you can see that we've got no apps open in the background. And we're starting off with Twitter, which was pretty much neck and neck. Notifications were also pretty much neck and neck. Instagram. Almost the same, maybe a split second quicker on the Snapdragon version. My profile, neck and neck. This is very close. Let's go on to Pages Manager on Facebook. I'd say it was a tad quicker on the Snapdragon. Now on to YouTube. So we've got slightly different content that's loaded up here on the home pages. So we'll try to find a video that does not have any adverts. And we've got Cobra Kai. So this is something that I'm definitely looking forward to. And that was... I think slightly quicker on the Exynos version. Now let's move on to games. Now with games, we are going to have this timer here at the bottom and that's going to tell us exactly how long each of these take. We're starting off with Angry Birds 2, which does finish first on the Snapdragon version and comes in around one and a half seconds later on the Exynos. Now let's move on to Mario Run. Very close, but ever so slightly quicker on the Snapdragon. And the game also loads up, but only ever so slightly quicker on the Snapdragon. Let's move on to Sonic Dash. Once again, uh, less than a second between them, but the Snapdragon did load up quicker. Now we're going to move on to Temple Run 2. And this time the Exynos slowed it up quicker, although we've got different content, so I'm not sure why this is. The default map uh, is different on each of these, I've not changed anything, uh, so we can't really take this test into consideration. Let's move on to the next game, which is Subway Surfers. Snapdragon again, but only ever so slightly. The difference between these two is so, so small. Let's move on to Dead Trigger 2. The main screen does come up on the Snapdragon, and let's play the game. Once again, the Snapdragon does come in a little bit quicker compared to the Exynos version. So we're seeing a bit of a trend here so far. Now let's move on to our next game, which is Asphalt 8. Once again, very, very, very close, but it was ever so slightly quicker on the Snapdragon. And now final game, Real Steel. And this time, the Exynos version does finish first, a few seconds before the Snapdragon. Now that's quite interesting, let's see which one of these loads up the full game. And it was a Snapdragon this time, uh, very small difference once again. So quite interesting, we're just going to have a quick look at RAM management. And we do have 6 gigabytes of RAM on both of these devices, so RAM management really shouldn't be a problem. We can see that all the games are in the same place, Subway Surfers, Tempo Run 2, Sonic Dash, yep, same place. Mario Run is still exactly where we left it, Angry Birds 2. Yep, and YouTube on the same video, Pages Manager in the same point where we left it, Instagram, same picture, and Twitter is also in the same place. So guys, there we have it. That is the speed test between the S9 Plus Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 version versus the S9 Plus Samsung Exynos 9810 version. Now, in terms of the differences, realistically speaking, they were very, very minor. When it did come to games, uh, overall, I would say that the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 version was slightly faster. 
Now, the keyword there is slightly because most of the games took maybe a second, maybe sometimes half a second longer to load on the Exynos 9810. Now, is this gonna make much of a difference in terms of your daily usage? I very much doubt it. And I don't think you can go wrong with either of these processes. These are some of the fastest out there right now. What did you guys think of this speed test? Definitely drop me a comment below and let me know. And if there's any other tests you'd like me to do between these two, then also let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then do hit that thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't already and you wanna see more Super SAF style content like this, then be sure to subscribe and switch your notifications. Thanks for watching. This is SAF on Super SAF TV. And I'll see you next time.